So that's a very interesting question you asked because uh, the rituximab biosimilar is very much warranted and is here. Uh, and the uh, originator has actually come out with a new subcutaneous molecule which probably is priced at uh, lesser than the bas, you know, their own reference product in terms of IV. So we are evaluating the uh, patient uh, convenience option first because for the uh, intravenous rituximab patient has to be in the office for about uh, six to eight hours and the originator has another molecule that is subcutaneous which actually could be given in 15 minutes. Uh, the other part is the because the subcutaneous molecule is a fixed dose, it probably uh, ASP uh, calculation wise it may become less expensive to the healthcare system as a whole. So right now we are in a holding pattern to evaluate the time and motion uh, characteristics of both the molecules and depending what is best for the patient, depending what improves the healthcare related quality of life and depending on the which molecule is uh, helping address Part B drug prices uh, will help us make a decision. And unless and until we have the biosimilar molecule out and it's priced at a very competitive place, we would have to look into all of these aspects before we decide to uh, switch over to the biosimilars.